Hey there, Dr. T. Just a quick little tutorial on what version of Python do I currently have as my default Python compiler. If you go to python.org forward slash doc forward slash versions, you'll see that there have been many releases of Python over the last several years. In fact, in 2022, there was nearly 20 different releases. Uh, and because of this, it's important to know what version you're actually running and when you're running applications as well as when you're working in coding in Python to make sure that you're actually running uh, the version that has the capabilities that you're hoping to take advantage of. If I'm building something new, I typically always will revert to the latest and greatest and make sure I have the latest installed. And what I'll do to check is a couple different things. One thing is if I'm just using my default editor on my computer, what I'll do is I'll go to my command prompt and launch that. And what I can do in from my command prompt is just type Python dash dash version. And you'll see I'm running 3.11.1, which is currently the latest. Um, I could also just type Python and turn my terminal into a Python editor. Uh, that will also tell me what I'm running, what I'm running currently as well. Um, alternatively, you might be using a tool like PyCharm. I use PyCharm, and this is my Python environment. And you'll see down here on my Python packages tab. So usually I'm in run and you'll see my console, but in Python packages, we can see what different libraries and versions that I have installed here itself. Okay, like uh, for instance, pandas is popular and you can see the versions there, but you don't see the actual compiler, what you're actually running for your Python library. So what you can do here in PyCharm is go to file. And if you go to settings, uh, you can then choose from the settings option, as you see, I've done this before, Python interpreter. And here you'll see I'm also 3.11, okay? If I had other interpreters on my computer installed, I could choose them uh, from this drop down, or I can add an additional one. Because at times, you may have been given somebody else's application, you might have downloaded something from an online Git repo, and you may need to use a different version of the Python uh, interpreter uh, to run the actual executable or the actual code. Uh, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I hope you subscribe for uh, future tutorials and videos. Thank you.